Yumalundi, welcome. Yangu Gulanyin Nalawiri Dunai Nunawal Nambri Daura. Today we're all meeting together on Nunawal Nambri country. Wangaralin Jingin Maran Balan Bugarabam. We acknowledge and pay our respects to the elders. Good morning, everyone. I'm the Secretary of Department of Parliamentary Services and I'll be your MC. Today we continue the long running tradition of lighting the Parliament House giving tree in the marble foyer. While we're unable to welcome the public to this event and we're missing the buzz of having the school groups here, it's still pleasing that we can come together and launch the Giving Tree program. As we do each festive season, we'll support selected charities as part of our Giving Tree. And what a tree it is, and my thanks go to the visitor engagement team who undertook the significant task of setting up the tree and setting the tone of the festive season. I'd now like to welcome our special guests, the President of the Senate, Senator the Honourable Slade Brockman, and Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Honourable Andrew Wallace. Mr President, if I could call on you now. Thanks, Rob, and thanks everyone for coming along today. Now, obviously, this is a little bit of a quieter room than we usually have uh, for this event. And that's a shame, and we hope that next year we can get back to usual, back, but, uh, back to a more usual arrangement. But uh, in having this event, I think we acknowledge the special time that we're coming up to, a very special time for, for those of the Christian faith in our community, but a special time for all of us, a time to reflect, to think back on the year that's been, a very difficult year for many Australians, and that, I think, is something that we need to acknowledge. Uh, and it's been a strange year for all of us. Uh, I've spent five years, five, uh, five weeks stuck in Canberra, felt like five years sometimes, um, and then two weeks locked in the house at home with three young children. Now that's certainly going from the sublime to the ridiculous, but I'll let you choose which is which. Uh, but it is wonderful to be here today with, who are you again? <laughs> We're both new, I'm allowed to say that. Um, I'm honoured to announce the first uh, charity today for the Giving Tree, and this year it is uh, the Food Centre, a social supermarket based in South Australia. Food Centre alleviates some of the financial burden and food insecurity at the community level and provides dignified access to affordable groceries and pathways towards food security. Food Centre has explored a new food charity model to alleviate the experience of shame, embarrassment, stigma, limited food choice and unhealthy diet that recipients of traditional food charity model perhaps can undergo. Established in 1990 and supported by a group of dedicated volunteers who are concerned about the phys physical, emotional and spiritual poverty in, in the community, Food Centre helps to focus on the needs of the individual and alleviating some of their financial burden and food insecurity. I'm proud that the Parliament House Giving Tree 2021 will be supporting the good work of the Food Centre and well done to all on your efforts to support vulnerable families. I'd like to acknowledge at this point that Parliament House is conducting our Giving Tree program in a COVID safe manner. Uh, we're all becoming very familiar with QR technology and you'll see in front of the tree there QR codes to enable you to contribute directly to the charities that we are supporting today. So thank you very much for being here and I'll hand back to Rob. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I think in the old days we used to say, uh, roll the tape. Food Centre is a community-based non-for-profit that provides low-cost groceries and provisions to people in need. Our society today, that we've got so many people unemployed and we've got so many people struggling to put food on the table. And this organisation just sets up so well for people the opportunity for some help. Really lovely to walk in and feel that everyone is very accepting of one another. It's a really wonderful community because of the great camaraderie in this place. It's a very, very warm place. 
the range of products that we have are all of the basics that you require in a household. We service about 600 families here every week. Fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, fresh meats. We also provide free bread every day as well. As part of our services, the Food Centre also provides a complete meal pack that was originally devised in conjunction with the Foodies Programme and SA Health. It is a very high quality product that includes meat, vegetables, eggs and cheese for under $10.50. It's not just a supermarket. I'm just making sure people make ends meet. Customers living on the poverty line, we act as a provider for the no interest loans. We have a community library here as well. It's done in conjunction with Tristy Australia. I've seen many, many people come through the door here who um, had had rough experiences in their lives, but they bought them here. And this organisation, so embracing of these people and so helpful to them, that they could actually see some way through their upsets in life. I would describe the food centre as a social supermarket. It's an opportunity for people to make friends. The food centre is not just a job for me. If I can provide some sort of relief for others, it makes my day every day. For someone to volunteer in the food centre, I would say to them, this is an absolutely wonderful place. The volunteers here, they genuinely care about others. It's a really enjoyable workplace. You will find by volunteering, you actually get more back from it than you're actually giving to other people. Get out there and, and get involved in the community and do something positive. It's so beneficial. Really rewarding. The common goal is giving back to your community through the food centre. Um, thank you, Mr. President, who we've just lost to a division. Um, hopefully we'll get him back uh, before we have to light the tree. Um, I'd like to now hand over to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Andrew, Honourable Andrew Wallace. Thanks, Rob. You just can't rely on those senators. He's taken off already, and it'll probably be me that has to do the hard work and push the button. Um, it's great to be with you today. It, it's uh, still, um, I've only been in this job now for three days, so um, uh, hearing Speaker and uh, Andrew Wallace in the same sentence uh, still sounds very strange. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and thank you, Rob, for ensuring that the spirit of Christmas and the festivities can continue here in Parliament House, albeit in a COVID safe manner. It's uh, a great shame that we don't have. Uh, the young students here today because um, it would be wonderful to, to be able to be doing this uh, with, whilst listening to their carols. Um, so I've decided that we're all going to do it for, for them instead. So everyone's going to take off now. Since its inception in 2013, The Giving Tree has donated almost $30,000 to different charities across Australia. Thank you all for coming to this very important event lighting the giving tree at Parliament House. As we speak, the Parliament House website has been updated with details for the two charities and these will be shared on our social media over the coming days to help extend the reach of these extremely worthwhile causes. Many thanks for your time in joining us today and if you're able, by helping spread the goodwill by donating the giving tree appeal. As uh, the President of the Senate remarked earlier, Christmas is a very special time in the Christian calendar. Um, I'm a, a person of faith and uh, I'm an adult, uh, well all my children are adults and my four daughters are adults. And there's a big difference I think being a, a parent of adult children at Christmas time and being a, an adult or a parent of young kids at, at Christmas time. You don't get that same buzz in the air when the kids first wake up. Uh, some, <laughs> I remember uh, when my girls were adolescents or teenagers, it was hard enough to get them out of bed, but um, even on Christmas Day. But we all know that uh, Christmas is a very, very special, special time around the world. And it's not just for Christians either, but it's a time for us 
uh, to remember what's important in the world, uh, and that, of course, is our families. Um, I think uh, one thing that this place has taught me is that long after we have left this place, our families will still be there, and that applies to, I think, everybody that works in this building and outside. Um, they always say that blood is thicker than water and uh, families are so important. And um, it, it has been a difficult 12 months, no doubt. In fact, difficult nearly two years. But uh, onwards and upwards, and we hope that uh, 2022, uh, Christmas time, we'll have lots of kids, lots of school kids in here singing carols with all the journos and all the staffers. I'm pleased now to announce that the second organisation that we're supporting this year is the Australian Indigenous Leadership Centre. The centre offers mentoring, courses and training to unlock opportunities for Indigenous people of all ages to develop their careers and expand the ways they contribute to our community. It provides Indigenous leadership and mentoring, business governance and short courses in, spe in specific leadership skills and diversity mentoring. It also delivers workshops and courses for non-Indigenous people across Australia in the areas of diversity mentoring, cultural awareness and appreciation. Based in Canberra with satellite offices in Darwin and Brisbane, the centre takes programs across the country to where they are most needed and remains a not-for-profit organisation owned and controlled by Indigenous Australians. The Indigenous Leadership Centre aims to build generational transformation with place-based training and creates opportunities for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders peoples. We are all very supportive of this endeavour and wish the Indigenous Leadership Centre all the very best. Each individual donation helps these organisations deliver services and funding that make a meaningful difference in the lives of our fellow Australians. Before I hand back to Rob, the Secretary, we have a short video message from Robin Forrester, the CEO of Australian Indigenous Leadership Centre. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Robin Forrester, CEO of the Australian Indigenous Leadership Centre, and we're honoured to be one of two charities that Parliament House have chosen for the 2021 Christmas Giving Tree. The Australian Indigenous Leadership Centre is a registered training organisation that's been in operations for 20 years. We provide opportunities for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from across the country to undertake accredited and non-accredited training in Indigenous leadership, mentoring and governance. Your donations will go towards assisting a number of people to further their educational journey. It will give them the opportunity to participate in accredited and non-accredited training, building their skills to improve their leadership, governance and mentoring capacities. It will provide them with a load of skills that they will be able to use to not only improve what goes on for themselves, but also what happens for their communities and their families. We thank Parliament House for choosing us as one of the 2021 Christmas Tree Charities. And we thank you all for your donations. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about what we do, why not visit our website, which is www.ailc.org.au. Thanks again. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr Speaker. Now, normally at this time, I would call on both presiding officers um, to come forward and officially light our uh, magnificent giving tree. Um, but it appears the, the speaker will be doing the honours uh, on his own. So if I could um, call you up to him, Mr Speaker, and I'll hand you the box and um, press the button when you're ready. All right. Get a countdown. Three, two, one. Three, three two, two, one. one.
thank you again, Mr. Speaker, and uh, also to the President of the Senate for um, joining us today. Um, I also thank you all um, for joining us here. Um, a quick plug, if I can wrap things up for the festivities that will continue for the building occupants um, and surely the general public in December with the Christmas themed lunches we'll be hosting in the Queen's Terrace Cafe. Um, I encourage you all to dig deeply and participate in our Giving Tree fundraising and supporting the charities um, selected this year. Um, and I hope you take the time with your teams, your family and friends to enjoy your Christmas time together. Thank you and good morning. Thank you.